So let's say you want to get yourself a used PC or parts, or you have this old school PC laying around that you have no use for. Maybe in this video I can show you some interesting things that you can do with it. This is a quite interesting setup. This is my test bench. It's an i7-3770 model CPU in combination with an NVIDIA GTX 560 Ti. It's not, let's say, the latest system, but it is a quite powerful system for back in the day. So therefore I just wanted to make more like Maybe we can make this thing an emulation monster that you can use to play some retro games or you can build it inside your arcade machine. Nevertheless, maybe you can pick up these parts for not a lot of money or again, maybe you have some parts laying around. So consider subscribing, hit little bell, become a The Wicked Family and let's go and let's see what we can do with this mean machine. In total, I spent $150 on this used kit, and it includes mainboard, memory, CPU, GPU, power supply, SSD, and an extra hard disk for storage because the big games need a lot of storage capacity. Or you can just buy yourself a used PC. There are so many ways you can go with these systems. 4 gigs of RAM, and quite a powerful i7 CPU, and we have a lot of options when it comes to the mainboard. So let's do a quick ETA Prime moment and let's talk about with the specifications. So the mainboard itself is a Gigabyte G8H77MD3H. The Intel i7-3778 core CPU with the GPU that an NVIDIA GTX 560Ti with 1 GB GDDR5. Then we're having Kingston memory that is 16 GB in total, 16 megahertz DDR3. But I think the most important element is the i7 or you need to have a quite a powerful CPU in combination with a very powerful GPU of course. I think the Windows 7 is a great operating system when it comes to these old school retro emulation simply because it's not really demanding. PlayStation 1 will not be an issue. I am running this on the 1080p original resolution in combination with OpenGL. And you will see that a lot of games will just fine on this with 60 FPS. Round one, fight! <laughs> Alright, so next up, PlayStation Portable. Let's try this out on 8 times the original resolution. Round one. God of War Chains of Olympus. 
we're going to put them on four times rendering simply because with eight times it's too much for the system and it will have a lot of slowdowns four times resolution no frame skip and this game plays amazing on my old school gaming pc Next up, Red Dream Emulator in combination with Sega Dreamcast. And this system runs on 1080p internal resolution. So that's quite high, but I cannot run it on 4K because that is too much for the system. Next up, let's try GameCube on the Dolphin emulator. And what I did notice that I can run most games on 720p, but some of the games I need to lower it to the native resolution to get better performance. Sword dance cuts through enemies. Fine. I accept your challenge. Here I come! Battle one. Fight! <laughs> No use! You win! Too easy! Just as I thought.
Zero GX is a very demanding game, but I must say that I was very surprised to see that it was running on this device and even with 480p. Alright, next up, PlayStation 2 Portable, running on 720p native. Take consideration, again, it's more like a mixed bag, I did see a lot of glitching, and also some games, I need to put it to a low resolution because it will not run on a stable 60fps. <laughs> Long. Get ready. But sadly, with Dead Alive 2, you can see that the problem is that it is not powerful enough and we're not going to get a stable 60 FPS. So let's reload the resolution and let's play the game again. Alright guys, so this is what you're going to get with an old PC like this. You can also mess around with it, like having an i5 in combination with an maybe GTX 6060. If you like these videos, I can always check out for a better setup or a better GPU card and do the same testing all over again to see what other performance that you're going to get then. I got this kit for not a lot of money, maybe you can buy yourself a second hand PC that is similar with the specification of this. It depends of course where you're going to buy all your parts and maybe you can pick it off even cheaper. But this performance, what you're going to get, you can't get it with a single board PC. What I mean with this is more like an Android box like the GT King, Nvidia Shield. The GT King goes around, let's say, $150 for the Pro version and Nvidia Shield goes even over the $200. So if you compare it with this, I think it's just a pretty good deal. If you're going to get yourself an old PC, you can play up to PlayStation 1. You need to do some little bit of tweaking and messing around with the resolution to getting the best performance. I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked family. And I will see you in the next video.